right. Boom. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go back. Okay. Whatever. No. Why did you change? Cancel. Crap. I've already messed it up. I already clicked something. I don't even know what I'm doing. Hello. It's me, Gandersnitch the Goblin. Real life goblin from Goblonia. Here on the Twitch thing with two viewers. Isn't that so nice? I might actually be one of those two viewers because uh, I, I was talking to chat on my... I did! I made a mistake in the first five seconds. I, I fail. Um, okay, so at least Jack Mirth is here. This game tonight is all his fault because evidently I said on my stream last week or the week before that here's the deal. Gaming with Goblins, me, Gannisnitch the Goblin, is going to play video games and talk about them, but they have to be games I've never played before. And Viscera Cleanup Detail is a game I have certainly never played before. But part of the other deal is I actually have to own the bloody game. Um, so I was playing games that were like free in the Epic Game Store, which is usually really good games, and free in the... The Twitch, Amazon Prime Gaming, usually not that great games, as it turns out. Um, so this game showed up in my Steam account and uh, with a note that said, I think this would be perfect, perfect, mind you, for your stream. Uh, and I looked at the reviews and it said that this got great reviews. Um, but it's called Viscera Cleanup Detail, and already there's blood spatters and creepy music. So, um, it's got good reviews. I don't even know when it came out. Copyright 2013, I guess. I, you, nothing less than perfection. Have we met? Hello? You, you know who you're talking to? Gandersnitch the Goblin here. Perfection is my middle name. It's someone's middle name. I'm going to steal it. So, this is what we got. This is what we're doing. I've never, ever bloody played this game before. And I've already lost a, uh, uh, a viewer. It might be me. I stopped viewing, so it might not be counting me as a viewer. It might just be me and Jack Mirth here. Unless Jack Mirth stopped. In which case, you know what? Screw you. I'm drinking my drink tonight. I've got in a Jack Daniels Tennessee honey glass. It's actually a logo glass. It's got Jack Daniels Tennessee honey right on it. I am drinking a drink that I invented called the Nut and Honey. It's got ice. It's got uh, three dashes of bitters. And it's got uh, Tennessee honey whiskey, a shot of that, and half a shot of screwball peanut butter whiskey. And stir it up. It's it's a little bit like the Rusty Nail, which is my favorite drink ever, uh, but less expensive to make and not quite as much of a kick in the face. It's a little sweeter than that, so. But, uh, yeah, it's good. I like it. Okay, so I'm guessing uh, we're not going to go to the office. That doesn't seem right. I guess we click Start assignment. I could just click exit. If we've seen enough of this already, I could just click exit. But I think I'm going to click start assignment. Oh, let's see. I'm not going to... I don't know anybody. And I need two X... I need an Xbox controller. I don't have an Xbox controller. I mean, I do. It's not plugged in. Uh, I might have to go get it. Uh, wait, let's go... Let's go back. Options. Controls. Do I have to have an Xbox controller? Use gamepad. Uh, okay, allow input if I have it plugged in. Otherwise, WSAD, interact mouse, drop, jump. Okay, all the normal stuff. Uh, and then other things, which we're not going to learn. Uh, okay, start assignment. Uh, I guess we're going to do solo. Solo, because I'm by myself. Join. Company station custodian team building exercise. We'll try solo because we've never done this. Save file. I don't have a save file. Game type. Cleanup. Yeah, because I don't have a speed run. Uh, work site. I guess. Oh, there's a whole bunch of work sites. Look at all of those. We'll do the first one. Are they just alphabetical? They're not. So I'm guessing the first one. 
exterior access corridor, size medium, average length, one hour and 30 minutes. All right, we can do that. Uh, let's see, waste disposal, one hour and 30 minutes. Frostbite, an hour. I like frostbite, but we'll do this one. Game rules. Disable sniffer. Uh, time, whatever. I can make unlimited footprints. That's probably good. Start work. Let's see what happens. Get your mop ready. I've, I don't have a mop. I've got a mouse. I hope the mouse will work. I do have a mop. Look at my mop. I'm a janitor. Age 45. Oh, my goodness. I'm much younger than I thought I would be. I'm a sanitation professional. And don't you forget it. Company's got an easy assignment lined up for you here in this sector. Really? Because I already see a freaking dead body right there under the mop. Mutated vegetation, focus of the facility, being studied, biological engineered, has escaped. Uh, okay. So I've got to, like, there's an alien on the loose. You're to conduct yourself hastily and within company protocols as pure, per your contract. Operations must be resumed within the facility as soon as possible. So do you be thorough, professional, prepare to face the fullest stick. Okay, whatever, legal department. Look, it flops around. It's like noodles. Um, mop? Oh, my mop's all bloody. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Can I rinse it up? Where do I rinse my mop out? Oh, shoot, I've got, I've got, I'm leaving body footprints all over the floor. That's, now it's not cleaning at all. Where do I, do I get more water from here? Is this where I get the water? How do I wring the damn mop out? I'm making this worse. I'm not, I'm not cleaning. It's worse. Put the mop in there. What the heck? Um, maybe I gotta clean up some green goo. No, now the green goo's red. It's brown goo. Um, oh, here's some water. Can I put my mop in there? Will that clean it out? It's looking better. Okay. Get that green goo. No! Look, it's splattering blood again. Now it's putting blood in the water. There's got to be a way to clean the freaking mop. This doesn't make any sense. Is this a mop cleaner? It's a disposal bin. Um, I don't know what we're doing. Here, dead body. Get out of here. Get up. Uh, jump. How do we pick up a dead body? The mop doesn't do it. Oh, okay. Height assisted relocation mechanism. Uh, you know what? I don't think this is water. I think this is glass. That's not water. That's the problem. That's just glass. Is it water? I don't know. What happens if we stand on it? That's not water. It doesn't go splash. Um, hmm. Is this a mop bucket? That plays music. Uh, locked door. Uh, it's not water. I know. Um, what, if, how do we clean the mop out? Oh, does it automatically clean itself? Have I got to run around with it? Have I got to wave it in the air? What? Look. Hmm. What does the center mouse wheel do? Oh. Okay, let's see. All right, objectives. Notes. I have no notes. What do these things do? Close. Okay. Oh, I bet I can pick up a body now, though. Now that I got rid of the mop. Have I got it? I've got the body. Where does he go? Waste disposal. How do I get him in there? Just, like, put him in there? Okay. 
Oh, go back in there. Do I have to put him from the top? I don't know what I'm bloody supposed to be doing. This game does not have a tutorial. There. You're in there. That's where you're going to be. Uh, nuclear waste. Do we, do we need that? Probably not. Got a body. Another body in this box. There we go. Put the bodies in the box. What is this? Three. Try pressing three. Uh, that looks like my scanner. Yeah, look, it's saying bodies. A MacGyver. MacGyver. What is wait? What does this note say? Get that. One is the mop. Two is the hands. Three is a MacGyver. Four is nothing. Two. All right. There's some really weird stuff going down. Not allowed in section five, but whatever was going on there is finding its way out. Freakish wall plant. Tore my freaking arm off. Okay, we got that. Um, disposal bins. Am I supposed to maybe open up this crate? Okay, so. But I can see where they are. Alright, so. I don't know what mode that is. On. I don't even have a mop bucket. Sign, find a source of clean water. Okay. Clean water. Oh, here's an incinerator. Can I burn bodies in there? Yeah! I bet it can. Let's put some bodies in the incinerator. Um, I'm already on the FBI watch list. This probably... This is probably not what I should be doing. Get in there! Oh, you're on fire out here. No, get in there. Where's the other half of you? Well, uh, you're not going to survive being smoked. So, get in there. Done. Go in the thing. Done. All right. All the bodies are dealt with. No more. D oh, maybe these guys. Get out of there. Come on. What happens if I put nuclear waste in the incinerator? I mean, I think there's only one one way to... F I lost it. Lost my body and I lost the incinerator. Close the door. Okay, we'll put you over there. We'll store you right there. Another note. Aha! The plot thickens. Let's see. Every day it's the same. More teeth, more teeth. More, what? Why does your plant have teeth? I didn't take this assignment just so I could make mutated alien plant species. Hope to make new exotic forms of recreational bonsai. Cephalus. Cephalus. That's, you don't want to get cephalus. That's not good. Fraxius. No, it sounds even worse once you add Fraxius on it. More dangerous plant life. All right. Radioactive Brussels sprouts. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is I'm supposed to clean up this warehouse thing. Uh, yeah, go in there. How do I throw something? Because, oh, shoot, it's on fire. Where's my health? I don't think I have a health bar, which is probably pretty good. Uh, I don't have a vomit bar either, which is definitely really good. Okay, pick up the body. Herbert Fig? What's Herbert Fig? That's a... Oh, that's a USB. I'm going to put it right there so we don't lose it. 
right there on the floor. I bet we're supposed to read that. Yeah, I think that's an intestine. Oh, how did you... Oh my goodness! Open the frickin' door! Come on, Gandersnitch. It's not like you've never disposed of a body before. You can do it. I don't even know if I'm using the right controls. Let's see. There's another intestine. Those are very hard, not floppy intestines. Um, get out of here. Go. Now we'll close the door. Burn them up. All right. Oh, here's a here's a mop bucket. A slosh o matic. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Here's some more bodies. Which part did I? I only got the arm. Uh, that's not great. So I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna break this job up and and approach it systematically. Like I'm making a bloody mess because there's blood everywhere. But I bet if I take the pieces and burn them, then I can go back and mop up all the drippings later. Ah, uh, uh, did I do that? Did I smear them on the wall? I did now. I mean, if it's gonna be art, let's let's make it intentional, right? All right. Yeah. Is that a... That's a piece of a person. How'd you get way over there, person? It is. Oh, I can open both sides? Well, that's easier. I can throw things in from... There's another US... Wait, these aren't USBs. These are bullets. Do I have a, a vacuum cleaner to suck up bullets? If I gotta pick them up one at a time. Throw them in the fire. Go in the fire. You know what happens when you put bullets in the fire, right? Oh, I think I've just lost. Because I can't get that bullet. It fell. We're going to count that one as done. They'll never see it. I got the mop. I got the water and the mop. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't have the water or the mop. We're just burning the bodies. There will be no evidence left when we're done with it. Except he's on the floor. Oh, shoot. This is like Octodad. Where you can't even... I can't even pick up a dead body here. Alright, Gandersnitch. No more crazy whiskey drinks. It's a double. Double whiskey drink. Oh, Septimus Spief. What am I supposed to do with these special things? Crisps. Oh, what does this say? It's mission log. I want it. Oh! Shoot. That was probably not how I was supposed to approach that. Alright. Okay. Get in there! Oh my goodness. I don't want to set myself on fire. There's a broom. Can I use the broom? We'll see in just a second. We still got dead bodies, Gannisich. Don't get distracted. You've got a job to do. You're being paid uh, real money? Am I? I don't think I'm getting paid for this job. This is probably like a prison release work thing. Um, so, I don't know. They could pay me enough for this job. Let's see. Mission. Are you kidding me? Here, pick up the pieces. There's got to be like a garbage can that you can dump the bodies in to do this quicker. I can't believe it takes an hour and a half to clean... I can believe it takes a freaking hour and a half to clean up this... This, uh... Just this outside hole right here. Because look at all these footprints. I'm just tracking them everywhere. Uh-oh, something happened. Uh, because it, it won't let me do this in full screen mode and and uh, and stream it. So it's in Windows mode. And sometimes I accidentally click off the window. Dr. Bumgardner. Put it in there. That's not, that's not it. Okay. Please swipe your card and pull the crank. Okay. And this says door control locked. 
All right. Did we get all the bodies? Are all the bodies gone? In space, no one can hear you unionize. I didn't know I was in space. If I'm not in space. This is. I've got gravity. What does this say? Garlic. Extinct harvester revived. Okay. Oh, there were bodies back here, weren't there? Damn it. Alright. You know what I need? I need like a monster that just eats dead bodies. That's that's what I need. We need to get one of those. They should hire like maybe a, a ghoul to eat the dead bodies and they can do the thing. And then I don't have to worry about them. Here, I'll just leave them right here. How do I get new gloves? These are these are gross. See? I, dang it. I accidentally click off. Like before, it wouldn't even let me click off the thing. I had to hit the Windows key, but now it just clicks it right off. Can I put them? Where can I put these? I'm, I want to put them all together. Look, more freaking dead bodies. It's like they're multiplying. I put one over here before, right? Yep, there we go. I put that one right there. So many dead bodies. Is there a way to set it to um, uh, full screen windowed mode? Yes, but the problem is... Whoops, you got to let go of the body. Uh, the problem is then I cannot get out of it to get to um, OBS to start the stream. I've tried that. It's got to be in partial windowed mode. What's that? Is that part of a body? I can't get these bodies. Won't let me pick it up. There we go. Uh, so, uh, alt tab. What do you mean alt tab? I don't think it's tab. I think it's, let's see, it was crisps. I think they're drinking beer. I think these people, these scientists are dealing with um, plants with teeth and drinking beer, which is never a great combination. So, uh, you want me to hit Alt-Tab and see what happens? Alt-Tab. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. It's, okay, so it's dancing between all four windows. Um, so, oh, you don't hold Alt-Tab. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know that was a thing. Holy crap. Escape. Change the, change the, um, the settings. Options. Kick player. Kick me. Uh, system. Resolution. I don't even know why it's on a weird resolution. Yeah, you know what? Windowed mode. Go to full screen. How does that look? Did that change that over there? Okay. We still good? We still got everything over there? And then I can hit alt tab. Oh, that doesn't work when I'm in. Does it keep me? Oh, it keeps me over there. That's freaking brilliant. I am a genius. Well done. Yes. I make good friends who know how things work. Uh, and then I make friends that send me games where you've got to pick up. Like, that's not even what I'm looking at. Look. I wasn't even looking at that. Alt tab. Whatever. <coughs> so. Open the door. Get all this body in there. Um, I just heard something go, like, like, breathing in my ear. I'm not gonna look, because if it is something breathing in my ear, I don't want to know about it. I'm just gonna, until it chops me in half, I'm gonna pretend we're okay. I get the cup, get the damn cup. Alright, I learned something new. Uh, I'm going to find out what happens when you put nuclear waste in the furnace. Close the door. Nothing. Interesting. Can we use the broom? I really want to use this broom. <gasps> I got a broom! I can, I can sweep stuff. 
Oh, it's making a mess. Oh, it's jittery and stuttery since I switched screens. Uh oh. Get let go of this. All right. Um. That's what I figured. Okay, let's see. Escape options. I'll just make it lower resolution. How about that? Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, but that makes it really tiny. That's not going to work. Let's see how that works. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, my monitor's native resolution is much higher than this. It's uh like nineteen twenty by ten eighty. See that big? Uh, OBS. So, but now I got to make it smaller. I'll do it for you. I'll shrink it down. We'll do the native native resolution. We'll try that. Yeah, we'll try that. Where did where did it go? Viscera cleanup. Okay. That's um that's not good. Where's my hands? Pick up the bucket. Put the bucket in the water thingy. Make water. Where did it go? It knocked it over here. I've got to get rid of that bucket then. Do I put it on the other side? Don't want to be wasteful. There. Hit this one. All right. Is the new book? Yes. It, well, it might be if I don't drop it on anything. So, I'm going to put a bucket of water right here. All right. And I'm going to mop with a mop. Clean mop. Yeah. Yeah. We got the hang of this. Oh, now it's a bloody mop. All right. We got to at least get one square, like, done. Right? Dang it! Still stuttering. Could just be you. You're stuttering. All right. It's uh, you know I'm gonna okay, like this. But okay. So on my end, I'm showing green, all green across the board. Zero dropped frames. So um, I don't know why that would be. I have a time limit. Where's my time limit? I don't even see a time limit. All right, but I will I will go back to non-windowed. I'll go back to. I'll go back to because uh, yeah, I'm showing green zero drop frames. Now that doesn't mean that it really is me with no drop frames, um, but that's all right. We'll go back to windowed and we'll see. Okay, we'll see if that helps. Um, what am I doing? I've got to go get a new freaking bucket of water. New bucket of water. Did it take the old one? It did. Okay. We gotta bring the old one back. Put it on the back and it fills it up. Uh I just realized they're walking through all this blood to get back here. It's just gonna What the hell? I'm at the same resolution. Okay, I'm at the same resolution. I'm in windowed mode. Drop it. Drop the bucket. Let it go. It's just a bucket. Don't get so attached. So don't dump the bucket over like you just did. Hold it up high. I see. I chose not to have a... Um, timer because I don't know what the bloody hell I'm doing
Wait, now I have three buckets? Uh, why did it just spit out a leg? Now I have four buckets. How come that body didn't burn up? That's evidence. Get in there! It did totally take away my uh, nuclear thingy, my bomb. Okay, that one's got water in it. Oh, someone tried to hide in the water container. Well, that was not smart of them. Okay, I've got two buckets of water and a bloody mop. A clean mop. I am possibly the worst janitor in the world. I mean, shoot, it's bloody again. See, this is why I'm a barber not a janitor. Somebody else can clean up the floor. Uh-oh. Can't get that spot. That's permanent. Well, that's gonna make that hard to clean up, you idiot. Oh, there's more body parts. When does the water get gross? Guess maybe it doesn't. What the heck? It's because of these body parts. We gotta get rid of them. You can't mop body parts. It just makes blood everywhere. Yeah, someone else can clean up the blood, right? It's, yeah, no. This is what I pay people for. I don't actually pay people to do this. Um, because uh, that would be potentially criminal um, if I was paying people to dispose of dead bodies so you uh, you did not hear it on this stream folks oh, crap I'm gonna I'm gonna track bloody footprints back over to where I was working and I just cleaned them all up this is like work this is not like playing a video game this is like working. Where's the damn alien? Come out and eat me, alien. For real. No, it's a, it's it's kind of fun. Uh, I mean, look. Can we can we do like a puppet show here with the hand? Can I rotate it? Oh, I can drop it. That's not what I meant to do. Pick up the bloody pick it up. All right? See if you can can you shake someone's hand with a severed hand? Can you wave hello? Sort of. Oh, it's doing it. It's on its own. It's like a, a snake or a lizard or a rooster when you chop off a body part and it keeps flopping around. Or a fish. Fish flop around. I don't know if they flop around after you chop off a body part. Fish really only have two body parts. The head and the body. Um, so, uh, yeah. I guess it's true for snakes as well, now that I think about it. You've got the mouth part and everything that's not mouth. That's snake. I know these people's names with their little USB drives. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with those. Like, like part of the rules of this stream is... I don't read anything about the game other than I see what kind of reviews it got. Um, 
And I just started that after we played Sherlock Holmes and the Boring Devil's Daughter. Uh, it wasn't too boring. It was just not not a great game for streaming. It moved a little bit too slow, and then they start shooting at you. Um, uh, and I, So, I think that one had a lot of clunky mini-game controls, and shouldn't have. This one, the whole thing is like clunky controls, and I think it's part of the charm of the game, part of the appeal. Uh, pick up the leg. See, like, I can't pick up the leg. You have to wait till it's highlighted. We can make a puppet out of this foot in the boot. Look, it's like a um, like a flamingo from Fantasia, and you just it just wobbles around. Yeah. So play the Fantasia music. Yeah. And he and he does the ballet. Here we go. Very nice. Very sweet. And spin around. Ooh, that made me woozy. All right. Back in the furnace with you, foot flamingo. Goodbye. Done with that crap. Is that all the body parts now? Ah, uh, crap. Because, look, I'm gonna leave foot... I didn't leave them. Oh, good. Okay, I'm leaving footprints. Stop it with the... Stop it with the foot... Shoot. Stupid bucket. Uh, how do I make this disposer thing work? Can I put the bucket in there? Like, that seems like it's a trash disposal unit, right? But it's supposed to... Like, it's a grinder. If we put that in there, how do we make it go? What a low disposal bins. Like, we should... We pick something up. We put it on top of the grinder. We hit grind. Oh. Was I supposed to put, like, body parts in there? I got a bucket. Alright. So. Uh, here. Put this in the bucket like so put the note in the bucket put all this garbage you all are messy scientists in the bucket pick it up put it in the garbage this is like one of those survival crafting games with neither the survival or the crafting Clearly, that's not supposed to go up there. Oh, crap. I can't get it. Can I jump on things? You're the world's shortest jumper. Like, do not do not try and do basketball. Got it. Thought I had it. Got it. going to just clean you up. Put you over there, will you? Okay. Alright. Reassess the situation. Are you freaking kidding me? I think I'm gonna cry. I just... I, I, it was so clean! What the hell? Uh, rotate. How do we rotate? Rotate. Q? R? E? Oh, E throws it. I'm done with you. Just get all the crap out that you had inside you. The left mouse button... Rotates things. <laughs> it also picks them up. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, joy.
All right, let's try this again. Put it in the garbage. Let it go. Right mouse button. Okay. Let it go. Let it go. Not those. We want to keep those. What was this? About garlic with teeth? Brussels sprouts? Don't knock the bucket over this time. There we go. Touch the damn thing! I think there's a ghost. I think there's a ghost following me around, knocking stuff over just to be a jerk about it. Where's that can? Well, what do I do with it once I've got the. I mean, this isn't actually biohazard here, but I don't know what else I'm supposed to do with just regular old garbage. The stuff in time. Well, that's stupid. It's not like I'm putting a mouse inside there. Stay. All right. A crisp packet. All right. So then, I'm, am I supposed to put this bucket in the fire? That doesn't seem right. You're gonna get all this melted plastic everywhere. Melted plastic and intestine. I feel like I'm supposed to put it on top of the grinder. Because it seems like that's a grinder, right? I don't know. The incinerator doors do look pretty wide. Well, let's see. Let's see. We might be getting the hang of this. And I feel like these USB drives are important. But I could be totally wrong. Let's see. Will that fit inside there? Pick the damn thing up. All right. We got all the trash and body parts. Another USB drive. Wait, there's another. Their body parts are multiplying. This is ridiculous. I already got that arm. I made a puppet out of it. Now, oh, maybe that was in my bucket. Maybe that fell over. Get one of those things. All right, so we're figuring this out. You put stuff in the incinerator. We need a new bucket of water. You know what, can I just use these buckets? Will these go in the incinerator? Do I have to make a special bucket? Let's find out. I mean, it's metal, but it did take care of that um, radioactive can for me. It seems silly that you would need a special kind of bucket for a special... What is this? It looks like like a portal dodecahedron. Let's see. Thought that was blood on the ceiling for a minute. That was going to piss me off. I mean, who puts blood on the ceiling? Come on. That's, that's no way to decorate. Really. Maybe because the other one has bigger sides or something. You don't lose as much stuff. All right. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Whatever, I'm done with you. All right. Need a bucket of water to make the mop go. Dead. Yeah, it just, it just fabricates. Are you freaking kidding me? 
Get out of the... Well, I got an achievement, evidently. Pedestrian. I guess I've walked enough steps. I got my steps in. I don't even know what that means. But I did. I did. I got them. Steps. I hope you're laughing. I really do. Because this is... Okay, how do I drop kick a bucket? It's ridiculous. Give me another bucket of water. Thank you. Maybe this plan of starting over here at the door was not the best. Is there anything that I can tip this bucket over with? No. Tip another bucket. Why is it flashing? Get out of the way. Alright. One is a mop. Don't knock the bucket over. What in the heck is wrong with you? Getting it. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? What do you mean? Uh oh. Don't just say uh oh. Uh oh. I did go red. Why did I go red? I went totally red. Let's see if the stream comes back. There's anything running on my end. Let's see. Let's open it up. Let's see. That's paused. OBS is in the red. Let's see if that helped. That did that. Yeah, I know. Um, but it should have come back. So I did go into the red there, and I don't know why. I'm not sure what was that. Twenty-five frames per second. That's not great. Um, so let's see if it comes back. Let's see if it clears up. Because it shows green on my end. So uh, it shows me. Uh, it shows me at thirty frames per second. Oh, I think that water went bad. Look at that. I think it's. I think that water. Okay. Um, Uh, so all I did was I made the bucket of water green. And that fixed the problem. It just needed more green water. Uh, I don't think this is going to... Yeah, that's not clean water anymore. Look at that. So how do we get rid of dirty water? Don't spill it. Are you not strong enough to pick up a damn water bucket? Do not spill this water. We put the dirty water in the incinerator? That doesn't seem right. That seems like it's going to make the fire go out. Oh well. Clearly we put the dirty water in the incinerator. Because that's what you do, huh? We got one section cleaned up. I mean, look at it. It's, look how clean it is. Look how gross my mop is. All right. 
Dang it. This is a little bit like that, um, that, uh, squid game. Splatoon? You, you, you have to mop in that, but I think you actually, your mop puts ink out. Which, so if I was trying to make this a dirtier place, oh, my, my water's gone bad. But look at this, we're getting the hang of it. We're doing great. Uh, except for right there. Right there, not so good. That was, that was a bad move. On my part. Uh, so. Alright. One more. Two more. Three more. And I think that's all we can do. Yeah. It makes my mop dirty. So we switch to hands. We pick up the bucket. Dang it. Stop leaving bloody footprints everywhere. Alright. Alright. go. Open this up. Don't spill it. Although I guess if you spilled it right here, no big freaking deal, huh? Because what are you going to do? I mean, it's not going to make it any more dirty. All right. Just went red again. Why am I going red? All the things must be burned. Am I supposed to burn these things that clearly seem to belong here? Ah, uh, that just seems like too much work. Look, if you want to play this game, you get the game. I'm going to play it the goblin way. Alright? Which... Uh, really, should be... I just need to set the whole damn place on fire. Can I do that? Is there a way to, like, take burning stuff out of... <gasps> oh, we've got to do that. We've got to get the burning stuff out of the incinerator once it's on fire. And then, we don't even need to mop. We'll just burn the whole facility down. That is a permanent solution. It'll never get dirty again. Oh, I got another achievement. Bloody hell. I like that phrase. It's one of mine. Bloody hell. Uh, so I think it also makes a noise. I, I mean, it does make noises. Clearly, it's a video game. But I think it gives you like a warning noise. When you're about to have your mop be too dirty. It goes like a squeaky noise. Yeah, see, right there. It just binged to let me know that the mop is too dirty to use. It's an intelligent mop. Where's the Roomba? That's what we need. You freaking kidding me? Go in there. i to open the door. Get in there. Get in there. All the things. Get in there. Yeah! Now this stream gets muted. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, get out of there. That's not where that's supposed to go. Clearly. What was the thing? Look at how much blood is there. Ah. Uh, oh! Look at that. Why are we going up? There's not blood up here to clean. Okay, go down. Go down some more. Jammed? What do you mean jammed? I broke the damn thing? <sighs> yep. 
You know, I distinctly remember this being the plot of an adventure in my role-playing game. Not the cleaning up the bloody mess, but the broken lift. That was... Yeah. Throw a gear at it, huh? That'll fix it. We're here. Let's redo this entire section. Can't even press a different button on the lift screen. It's all busted. I broke it. Broke the whole thing. It's done. I don't even think we need the lift in here. Holy crap. Look at that. We're going to need the lift in here. All right. Try pressing a different button. Jammed. Oh. I knew that. I mean, clearly. Just press all the buttons. Open the door. Throw in the bucket. Go to hell, bucket. That's that's just because, you know, it's all fire in there. I have nothing personally against that one bucket. That bucket, though. Yeah, that bucket and my sister. Uh, so, not a, not a good thing at all. Get in there. I got fired. Burn something. Dang it. All right. Like I feel getting the blood up is probably a, a, the best way to start. Uh, granted, we've been playing this now for an hour and 15 minutes. I probably should have started before now, but I've got the hang of it clearly. Um, and there we go. And we're, this is just a drum playing mini game. Um, dang it. Are you shitting me? Oh my god! You know, if there was contest for the most buckets burned. I did get all the body parts up, I hope. Get out of my way. I didn't even make it out of the machine! <laughs> what in the hell? Oh my goodness! Stop! There's the... There's not even any water in this bucket. give you an achievement. Clean the damn mop. How about that for an achievement? That's a lot of blood over here by this door. I wonder what happened. Like, why? Why right here? Is there so much blood? I mean, I know there were dead bodies there, but I, the body can only hold so much blood in it before it's gonna pop. That's, that must be what happened. 
too much blood in the bodies. So it popped. That doesn't sound good. Mop, mop, mop. All right, it's clean over here by the door. Dang it, I could have gotten one more out of that. Okay, we are not going to spill this bucket. We're gonna lift it way up high in the air. We're gonna pay attention to where we're going. We're gonna set the bucket down where the door will not tip it over. We're gonna open the door of the furnace. We're going to carefully, carefully pick the bucket up. Make sure nothing's going to tip it over. Put it in the furnace. Are you kidding? I got it. It fell out in front of the frigate. Mm. All right. No, no, no. Saved it. That was that was some clever janitorial manipulation right there. Who left this footprint? I think someone's following me. Someone's following me. With bloody footprints. Not cool. Not cool at all. Is that the alien? The alien garlic plant, Brussels sprouts. I, I realise the futility in cleaning up around the water dispenser. Um, because I'm going to have to walk back past here. I'm kind of wondering, since I can spill a full bucket of gross water and it leaves a gross puddle, what happens if I spill a full bucket of clean water? Mm -hmm. That's, that's thinking. Something will happen. But what? It's making a lot of strange noises. All right. And clean out the, uh, maybe don't clean out the mop in that bucket. Yeah, that's what I thought. Pick up the bucket. Careful. Try that again. All right. Got the bucket. Don't spill it. Put it down, nothing underneath it. What's that? Put that in the bucket. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get it in the furnace this time without tipping it out. Let's get it right in there. Oh, it stayed in. Whew. All right. I'm going to try my experiment with a full bucket of water here. I don't think my experiment worked. That's what the machine thought of my experiment. Get out of here! You're right, I was trying to find a shortcut, and so it rewards me with a severed leg. No, thank you, I already ate. learned to not become so attached to buckets of water because 
You just spit them. I mean, for as messy as this place started, and as much worse as I made it, it's starting to look pretty good. I got one more squish in me. Me? I don't know if you're actually supposed to scrub it in twice. If they'd ever met a real janitor, they would know that you are supposed to scrub it in twice. But it looking it's looking pretty clean just after one squish. So uh maybe maybe we don't need to squish it in twice. What happens if you mix blood and green stuff? I don't even want to look around and see. Warning, classified life forms have escaped containment. All security teams to section five. All other personnel are to leave. See, I should just leave. I mean, that's what the sign. But oh, good, this is my bucket. I was gonna be pissed there. As in mad, not as in drunk. Well, I already know it's not gonna. All right. Yeah, there we go. Put that down. All right. And I, you know, I only threw it at the floor. I didn't throw it at the wall. So maybe throwing it at the wall is better. Uh, why won't it close the door? Oh, because you've got something in your hand. A bullet. Oh, I finally got that bullet I dropped. That's great. The water washed it out. My, am I leaving footprints again? Um, I wonder if I can jump in a bucket to clean off my feet. That seems like something you should be able to do. I got another achievement! A thousand! I just scored a thousand points. Why? Who freaking knows? But anything to make the drudgery of mopping up blood go better. So they just make up points. It's like that game when you're driving uh, and you run over people and you get points for it. Um, that one's not coming up. There we go. They just make up points to give to janitors. Like, oh, good job. You've swished your mop a thousand times. I bet that's what that was. A thousand swishes of the mop. Maybe you even get, like, badges for doing it a whole bunch. That's how you know the old pros. They've got the I switch my mop ten thousand times badge. I don't know. I mean... Damn it, Gander Snitch. All right. I think I've got the hang of this. I think we're almost ready to play it competitively. Like competitive cleanup duty. Because I think that was the thing they said. You could do it competitively. I know, they said cooperatively. Same thing, all right? You cooperate to see who did the best. And clearly, it would be me. Because I made a flamingo puppet out of a severed leg. Is that, that better not be? It's not. Okay. Oh, there's a footprint. We'll get that. Ah! Messed it up. Look at 
Look at this go! Yeah! We're cleaning machines. They call me Mr. Clean. I bet that's not trademarked. I could I could be Mr. Clean. Uh, whoops. I'll be Mr. Clean and and people can actually just call me Mickey Mouse for short. Um, yeah. There we go. That'll be my gangster name. It's like Mr. The Rock. No, I'm Mr. The Clean. Uh. Oh no, it's gonna give me another leg! Oh, thank you, it didn't give me a leg this time. It gave me an arm. Can I just put it in the bucket? Is that a thing I can do? Yeah! The second I said what? Mr. Kling? Okay, so, uh, that doesn't work. Uh, oh shit, but I got a problem because my feet are all gross, and I already cleaned that, so. Oh, that was close. Over here. Don't fall. Don't slosh it. Don't slosh it. All right. In the incinerator. Close it all quick before it jumps out. a whole new meaning to the term kick the freaking bucket Get all that clean. I did. All right. Let's see. Where's my broom? Because I know that was all bloody too. Do I have a broom now? I do. Let's clean off this broom. All right. Go back to the mob. Clean up around here. Because I think you might be... You might be onto something. Like if I don't step on the bloody part. We make a path. We could do it. I just got a, I just got a ding somewhere. I heard it go. Ah, uh, it's not a cocking a gun sound. That's a, that's a message. Let's see who it was. Oh, it's Disney's lawyers. All right. Screw you. One more time, one more time. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah! 
All right, don't kick that bucket over. Get rid of this mop. You're gonna make a mess, just splattering, splattering blood droplets everywhere. I bet I could have done it one more time in that bucket. Look, I think we've got like half of it cleaned. That's, that's pretty good, right? Half of it. And then they go and they drop this piece of... No, I'm not. That's a bad idea. I was going to go get a, a garbage can here. I'll put this can over here as a garbage can. All right, I'm going to put that over here. So the next time it drops a um, body part, I just put it in that bucket instead of getting the mess everywhere from it. Right? That's a plan. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Here we are. We got the bucket. We're doing good. We're cleaning up this mess. I, and it's not even my mess. Like, I didn't even make this mess. But evidently, I, it, I, for some reason, I took a job as a janitor, um, probably uh, to, to, I don't know, pay for whiskey? Do they pay me in whiskey? I hope so. That'll make all of this worth it and uh in the bucket you go clean up i'm getting the hang of this i really am i mean oh i got another achievement 1500 mops i don't know if that resets it when you mop with it damn it dave look what you made me do it's getting all excited and i make a mess just throw it in the fire slam the door Walk through the blood. Throw. We gotta put this piece in the fire. That's a. That's an intestine. And you can't have that hanging out. There. I had this all nice, and look. Now I got bloody footprints. Get a new bucket of water. You know what's funny? Is I had viewers until I dumped the bucket of water over. Then I lost them. They, they must be people that, that only appreciate top professional level janitorialism. Do the best I can here, folks. This is not easy. You, you try cleaning up a bloody, what is this, a science facility where an alien killed all the people. This is, I've seen this movie. This does not end well for us. not end well. I mean, I'm going to keep going until I finish this damn level. Then, maybe I'll play it competitively. Especially if there's voice chat. I like playing the games with the voice chat. Hearing the people swear at you when you do something stupid like that. At least I'm keeping it contained, right? To a very small location. Uh, so that is an improvement over, I think a lot of this blood on the floor, actually I put there. Um, trying to figure out how to play the game. So we're getting better. Damn it, that's another body part. Okay, let's see if our plan works. No! Body part in the bucket. Mop bucket on the floor. All right, here we go. 
That's not what I want. Pick it up. Put it right here. Pop it the crap up. It's like I take two steps forward, three steps back. It's the Paula Abdul song. That just dated me. You know what song I'm talking about? Where they had the animated cat guy that was Michael Jackson. He was a... What? Where did all that blood come from? I'm dancing on the stairs with Paula Abdul. I think it was... I think it was Michael Jackson was a cat. I think I've got that right. It might not have been. It might have been one of those other male pop singers like Sinead O'Connor. I don't know. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink. I'm gonna stop here. Take a drink. Turn around. Get the bucket. Damn it. The ice in my drink is melted, so it's a little watered down. But uh, it's okay. We'll call it. It's still... It's not cold. It's not cold at all because it's been sitting there for an hour and freaking 40 minutes. Actually longer because I didn't make it when I started the stream. I made it before I started the stream. But, I mean, that says something right there. That I've been so into mopping that uh, I forgot to drink my drink. It's probably a good thing too because I've, I've dumped over a lot more buckets. more footprints. Damn it. Almost had it there. I hope one of the levels. So I thought I might play a round of this and then play the uh, the Santa's Workshop one because that actually fits really, really well with my real life adventures that are detailed in my second book, uh, How Gannis the Chagobin Omo Saved Christmas. Uh, is a, there's a DLC that uh, Santa Claus goes berserk at the North Pole and you've got to clean that up. I don't know if you're an elf or what, but. Uh, Oh. My goodness. I can't believe it. No wonder nobody's watching. I am incompetent. And that might have been funny for the first hour and a half. Now it's just sad. Damn it. Uh, I didn't get all that stuff off the door. Uh, well, you know, it's the big bad Disney folks coming after you. So you've missed all of that. You missed when I had three viewers. It was great. Scared them all away with my incompetent janitorializing. Um, I don't know if if uh, we've met. I know we've met. So that whole work smarter, not harder phrase, first of all, is middle management bunk. Is what that is right there. Work is work. And I better damn well get paid for it. That's all I'm saying. Um, so work smarter, not harder. Yeah, you just that's just one of the ways that you're oppressing the... the um, you're not oppressing the man. You're oppressing the goblin. I don't, I don't know. The working class. The... Uh, that's your... Um, uh, bourgeoisie sensibilities happening there? I don't know. So, if you've been frozen this whole time, how far behind are you? Are you like 30 minutes behind now? Or did it jump you back into real time? I don't know how these things work. 
because that was a long time to be frozen. If you haven't been here since I was talking about Mickey Mouse, we've moved on to Sh Michael Jackson, Sinead O'Connor, and Mickey Rooney. Um, so, missed all of that. Or maybe I missed all of that. I hope I missed all of that. It was a dark, sad period in my life 20 minutes ago when I uh, could not, for the life of me, approach a bucket without kicking it over. So, uh, yeah, so this game is Viscera Cleanup Detail, aptly named. I mean, I don't know what else you would call this game other than, uh, holy crap, there's a lot of blood everywhere. Uh, that, that was probably second on the whiteboard list of names. Um, and third would be typical Ohio career options according to the local high school principal. But that's too long. Uh, you can't put that on a box. Uh, so, yeah. No, there is a DLC with Santa Claus. I was talking about it. I don't know if you were back then or not. But um, uh, there's a DLC with Santa Claus. And that, like, fits perfectly with my second book. How Gannis the Chagobin almost saved Christmas. So, yeah. Hey, type a command in there for me. Type in, where the hell is my bucket? No, seriously. Where the hell is my bucket? Did I just put it in the furnace and didn't realize it because I was drinking my whiskey? All right. Um, type exclamation point wicked. Just exclamation point wicked. I want to see if it works for you. No, not ex where the hell is my bucket. Exclamation point wicked. What didn't work? There, that one. That one works. There you are. So there. So if anybody's watching the stream, and they're like, oh, I want to go get that book. Where well, Ganderstitch cleans up the mess made by Santa Claus. Uh, then um, they can do it. I got an alt tab and all of that to click that one. It's supposed to be on a timer, but the timer doesn't seem to be working. Uh, oh, <laughs> look at that. I was like 30 seconds ahead of the timer. <laughs> all right. Now the timer's working. And now it's all spammy. It's like, dude, this guy's just trying to fleece us for money. And the answer is yes. Yes, that's what I do. I am a goblin. Uh, so, there you are. Uh, tonight, I am cleaning up someone else's mess. Uh, which, you know, I've probably left a lot of messes that people had to clean up. So, turn around is fair play, I guess. But doing the thing, this is gross. This really is gross. I'm glad this is not really my job. Um, I did, I did know a, a very nice gentleman who was a janitor uh, for the Orlando Shakespeare Festival. Um, I don't remember what his name was. Do you remember what his name was? No. Um, it was like, it was either Phil or Cliff, um, or George, or maybe Frank. I think it was Cliff or Phil. Anyway, really nice guy. He was actually, this was in Orlando, Florida, and um, he was a uh, retired rocket scientist. Like, he was legit a NASA rocket scientist, engineer, worked for NASA for 30, 40, 20 years. I don't know however long you do that kind of job. Uh, and when he retired, he wanted something that just allowed him to to do like manual labor and clean up and, and enjoy the theater. So that was his way. I mean, it was a business. He got paid uh, and he was able to give work to uh, his, his family, his like nephew or his son or something. Um, and they made it a family business, but but being janitors, and so don't discount your janitors. I mean, they they do have to. I mean, they clean up your piss for one, but uh, just because you're a janitor doesn't mean you're dumb 
uh, I mean, NASA freaking rocket scientist there, uh, a great guy, nice guy. He just wanted it. He wanted to keep doing something in retirement. And um, so he started his own business of being a janitor. And he didn't have to do that. I don't, get, I don't think he had to do that. Maybe he had gambling debts. I don't know. But uh, super nice guy. Super smart guy. And he liked just, you know, wandering around the theater late at night, cleaning stuff and seeing what everybody was doing. And, and dressing up nice and going to the shows. And he was a great guy. Former NASA engineer. Uh, me? I'm not a former NASA engineer. I'm a goblin making a mess. There's an intestine there. Don't step on the intestine. That's how you get blood on your boots. I can see the end. I can see the end once we get all the blood up. I... Where did that intestine come from? Like, why is that even a thing? Let's pick it up. Don't smear it this time. You have to wait until it highlights. Don't smear it! Drop it in your bucket. Don't knock the bucket over. Right. Making some disconcerting noises. There. Yeah. If your stream dropped me again, that's on you, Dave. Because I'm still green. All green. All systems go. NASA engineers. That's what I'm talking about. Am I still slogging? So close. So close. Bullet. Bloody footprint. Asking in my brilliance. Yeah, I'm brilliant. I mean, he was brilliant. I'm... I'm... That didn't even knock the freaking bucket over. That didn't throw it far enough. Come on, here. you got to go further. Where'd it go? It's not even throwing it properly. There we go. That's better. All right. Put the get out of my way, stupid freaking bucket. Open it up. So, uh, Dave, were you able to get the vaccine from the defunct grocery store? Is that a thing that you were able to do today? Get your vaccine. I hope so. I hope you were able to get it. Um, because you need it. You're one of those people uh, who is definitely needs the vaccine. Uh, uh, just because you are a person. And everyone that can get the vaccine needs to get the freaking vaccine. Not gonna, I'm not going to go through this anymore. Just get it. There was a nice hobo who directed you. Uh, so when I went, when we went to get ours, uh, there was, I don't think he was a hobo. Uh, could could have been. Uh, a, 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 I mean, had that feel. All right. Had that hobo uh, or really old senile, like was not. Uh, well dressed I except he was making a token effort I don't think it was a protest effort I think it was a legit token effort to cover his face with a jock strap it was not a mask it was a jock strap and when I first looked at it I'm like ooh 
dirty, scary man, old man, and that was my thought. Uh, so maybe he was a hobo. Uh, dirty, scary, and why is his... That's a severed head. Where did that come from? Oh my goodness. Um, I was just cleaning this part up. Maybe that's not a head. No, it's just an internal part. Um, but, uh, oh. Alright, yeah, okay. There we go, put that in the, put that in the bucket. We've already read that. Uh, here, put all this in the bucket. Yeah, I was like, why is that strap so, um, so strange? And, and like, you know, like when the waistband of your underwear gets too old and stretched out. It was that kind of thing going on, and it was that thick. And then it hit me. He's wearing a jock strap on his face. That's his mask. It's it's a freaking jock strap. All right. Uh. So and he walked right up to the person that was sitting next to me, and he's like, "Is this where I get the vaccine?" And uh, and uh, she pointed towards the counter, and the pharmacist is there. No, come over here, sir. Come over here. Uh, you got to go down there to that window at the end. And he walks up to the wrong window, and he's like, I'm old. I need this vaccine. Um, and they're like, do you have an appointment? And he's like, I don't know. They told me to go to the pharmacy and get the vaccine because I'm old. So I, I'm pretty sure they gave it to him. Um, <laughs> just because, you know, you don't want people walking around Kroger with uh, a jock strap on their head. Right? I mean, I wouldn't if I was had anything to do with that Kroger. It, it was a rural one. So we had to drive about half an hour. Um, so hang on. Back to Dave. The hobo uh, directed you to the pharmacy where they were actually giving it. Did you get it? That was the question. Were you able to get the vaccine? That's all I... I don't care about the hobos telling you where to go. I want to know that you got it. So that at some point in the future, like not tomorrow, but uh, you did. Good job. Yes. Do you know which one you got? It doesn't matter. All three of them should save your freaking life. Um, but uh, I just, I want to compare stories. That's all. Experiences. Uh, because I was sore and tired and grumpy yesterday. That is for sure. But I felt great today. Clearly. And then I started cleaning up all this blood. So, it's a thing that we're doing. Mopping the stairs. Not as easy as mopping the rest. Oh, you were hoping you'd get the Dolly Parton vaccine. I don't, I don't think there's a Dolly Parton vaccine. That's, uh, that's, no, that's breast implants. That's not a vaccine. That's something totally different. Yeah, um, well, hopefully, hopefully it's not as sore uh, tomorrow. Mine was a little sore the first night, and then I couldn't sleep on it. Like, it kept waking me up in the middle of the night if I rolled over onto that arm. Uh, and then the next day I could not lift my arm. Uh, that's how sore it was. So, but I'll take that over being on a ventilator in the hospital any freaking day. I mean, you can give me a sore arm. That is all right. I will take it. Make sure there's nothing in there. Hit the walls. I think we, I think we got all the blood. I think we did it. Except for this up here. I don't know. Were we contracted to clean this hallway as well up here? Is that part of our job? I'm guessing so. I want to make this radio play. I bet there's been music. I bet we could have listened to music this whole time. Instead of just the sloshing of the bucket. I bet that would have been a more interesting stream at the very least. To turn on the music. Let's see. It looks like a boombox, right? Is that something else? Is that not a boombox? Big banger. Play. There we go. It plays music. 
Okay, it plays one note. It's bouncing around up there. We probably just want to put it on the floor. It's still bouncing around. That bucket's not done. Pretty sure that bucket is that. Now it is for sure. I hope this music doesn't call the alien. That would suck if we got this far and then boom, there's the alien come out of the wall to kill us. There's another broom. of the bucket. Right there. Where that's Shut up. Don't don't say anything. Every time, every time I get a little cocky, think I've got this under control. Boom. It's like it can hear me. Oh crap, there's a body part again. That's not, that's like a piece of chicken. I'm not saying I would eat it, because I don't think you should. Uh, it's not that kind of chicken. I was gonna dance with the bucket, I realized that's a really bad idea. I should have had the music going the whole time though, that would have made it less stressful. Gingerbread man down there. He needs a name. I don't know what his name should be. The gingerbread man name. I'm just wondering what happens if I run into the wall with this? Oh good, nothing. Slow down. Approach the bucket carefully. You don't want to spook it. Let it know you're not a threat. Make any sudden moves. Cliff or Phil or Frank or George. Yep. That's the that's the um that's the janitor's name. You're saying we should name the gingerbread man after the NASA engineer janitor? I mean I don't I don't see a problem with that. I think it was Cliff. Or Phil. Pretty sure it was not Damon. Shit. We need to get another bucket up here. Give me a bucket! I got, have, have we still got trash over here? Do we already get all this trash? I don't know if this is trash. 
What am I supposed to put in this bucket? Personal property of janitor. I'm gonna put the um the USBs in there. Can I put like trophies in there? That was funny. Shoot, I lost the USB. I'm gonna pick up all these bullet casings too. Ah, uh, bring. I don't have a dustpan though, so I don't quite understand the point of the broom. Right? Bring four buckets of water up there? Because that would be working harder, not smarter. Or the opposite. You know? Where'd my bucket go? Where'd the big yellow one go? Uh, well, let's find out. Whoops! Wrong, wrong command. I don't think so, but let's see. No, no, no. No, no, no! I can't even get the damn thing to tip over. So I don't think that's the solution. We'll see. Bro. Like, I think it might just be harder than just picking them up one by one. But they give you a broom, so I think there's got to be a reason to have a broom. and a broom. Nope, look, it doesn't go in. Oh, that one went in! Alright, uh, you know what? It's so much easier just to pick the damn things up. One at a time. I said that. Now I can't find it. I look over there and I see that uh, stuff on the floor, those lines. I think it's viscera alien goo that I did not get earlier. But it's not. I mean, it's not snot. It's just yellow lines. Except there's a bloody footprint. Stupid. Where'd those come from? What's in this bucket? And this bucket. Where are all these damn buckets coming from? There we go. Bucket and a bucket. Can I pick the bottom one up and get them both? 
Look at that! No. Uh-oh. They're just rattling around inside there. Damn it! We got Miami Vice music playing. We're gonna go shoot some bad guys. Litterers! Beware. Put that bucket in there. I'm gonna try and put this other bucket in the big bucket though. See if it works. Yeah. There's a USB. I'm gonna save these USBs. I'm gonna put them over here in mine. not. Maybe it won't let me put them in there. Get out of my way. Careful now. Skill! Right there. One bucket inside another bucket. Close the door, don't let anything out. Do these have water in them? Hell, there's a cup. And then there's body part bucket. And actually, before this gets flipped over, let's pick this one up and take it away too. See, I knew that was gonna happen. I just got a ding. Fling. Hey, boys969 following me. Thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, so I am Gandersnitch the Goblin. Goblin from Gablonia playing video games for the first freaking time ever. Never played this game before, but uh, somebody gave it to me on, uh, on Steam and said, I think this would work great for your video gaming stream. So uh, that's what I do. I play games that I've never played before and don't know how to play and talk about it while I do it. I've, I'm actually, uh, after now two hours and 10 minutes, starting to get the hang of this game. I'm cleaning up a, a horrible murder scene, uh, being a janitor of an alien space station or something, I don't know. Uh, there were body parts everywhere. Those have already gone into the incinerator. Now we're just cleaning up, put them back in there. Now we're just cleaning up the dregs of everything. I mean, this place was covered in blood. And I tracked most of it on my feet. So I don't know yet. I think I do actually recommend this game. If this is the sort of game that you like. Uh, it's physics. It's very, feels very indie. I was actually worried that this was going to be like the um, serial cleaner where you're cleaning up like mob hits. And it's very old school graphics, sort of um, isometric. Uh, but uh, do I want you to tell me what happens? What do you mean what happened? There was an alien and he ate some people and split them in half. I know, that's what happened. That that part happened. I wasn't there for it. I read their little notes. They left me notes. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the USB drives. Like, I feel those are important. And I feel like maybe I should keep them. Yeah, plants. 
Alien plants, garlics, and Brussels sprouts with tea. Yeah. I still gotta get that spot up there. Um. Oh, look. Look, they left a mess over here. That's not what I wanted. These slobs, they're slobby scientists, is what they are. I mean, I can forgive, like, the body parts laying around, but hiding beer cans and crisp baskets, not cool. Keep messing that up. Left mouse button, straight up. There we go. Another bucket of water. Those are all the buckets that I tipped over. Trying to get the hang of getting the water out of the watering thing. Uh, can I just, can I just put it up there? No, it's not a thing you can do. Um, okay, think about this. Actually, we're, we're, we're going to go finish. I know there's more to do over here, up in the top, so... I put the USBs in the box by the door. Okay, that's what I thought. Like, I should keep them for later. Uh, also, I should get all this viscera cleaned up. That's a big word. Did I leave a bucket? I left a bucket. Get out of my way! We're on a time limit here. We're not. I didn't enable a time limit because I didn't know what the bloody hell I was doing. Maybe that's... Dave, you didn't tell me there was a bucket of water up here already. I don't remember what I did ten minutes ago. Well, that's not very realistic physics. Get down in there. I know you're all fit. The door near the incinerator. Oh, that door back there. So I was kind of wondering about that too. That was the thing that you were supposed to do with it. Like, because there's a, there's a keypad back there, I think. I don't, I don't want to open that door yet. I want to... Shit. I'm listening! I don't want to open that door yet. That's where the alien plants are. They're going to come out and kill us. In there. We got to, we got to make sure everything's cleaned up before we open the doors for the alien plant things. That's just, that's just good janitoring. Like, make sure that if anybody else has to clean it up, it's the smallest mess possible. Fun fact, fun fact. Oh, did you design this game? Because that would be really freaking cool. Nope, dropping all the viscera. Yep, wrong bucket. At least I've got a trail to follow. It's like a trail of breadcrumbs. Only it's, um, it's a trail of intestines. It's a German fairy tale. So why not a trail of intestines, really? I'm waiting on the fun fact. There's nothing good about janitor. Like good janitor. I thought you were going to disparage janitors again. Now I was going to have to tell my whole story all over from the beginning about Phil. Call it Chris. Phil. Cliff. Dave. I don't know. Genetically engineered plants. I got that part. They were broccoli. Genetically engineered broccoli. That's why you should never eat your vegetables, kids. Uh, and actually, you should freaking be in bed. Not George. George did not genetically engineer plants. I know better than to think that George did that. Maybe Wheeler. I bet Wheeler genetically engineered some killer plants. 
I, I wouldn't put that past him. I'll, I'll say it was him. Oh wait, no, we have their names. They're on the USB drives. It might have been George. Who is this USB drive? I can't tell. Is that? That's Jose. I couldn't tell if it was Josie or Jose. If there was an I. Go in there. There we go. I, I can't mop with viscera and stuff on the floor. I gotta clean all this up. And you know, the easy thing to do would just be to pick the bucket up. But I can't. I pick up the stuff inside it. experimented on by Vanicular Enterprises. I read that book about the vampire rabbit. It's a really good book. Probably one of the best books ever written for third graders. Vanicular. I don't remember this part of it though. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I just don't remember it. Could have happened. I didn't write the book. Oh, let's see. Working in this place is really weird. Fungus eats through the wires when it's not fungus, it's walking plants with teeth. Ah! Yeah, I hope you quit before you die. That would have sucked, buddy. Dramatic music. I think I could be wrong. I think this is one of the last might be the very last load to the incinerator of stuff that's not buckets. Um, something jumped out. Get in there. You're gonna burn like the rest of them. All right, bucket of water. Uh, I wonder if these are man-eating plants right there. Should we try to kill those? Can we kill them with the broom? They hired my services. They're going to turn me into a man-eating plant. Oh, no. For shame. I don't want to be a man-eating plant. I'm perfectly happy being a goblin. That's way better than being a plant, I think. Well, shit. I shouldn't have looked up. What you don't know can't hurt you. Right? Pretty sure that is conventional wisdom. I will say that the music does make you work faster. Glad we figured out how to turn that on. Yeah, any more up there? Okay, so now I think let's go make sure we got all the footprints up. I think now it's just the stuff way up high on the wall, right? Last footprint, not the last footprint. How the, how do we get footprints way the brick over here? My goodness. My team is not very good. Whoever this invisible person is walking around putting footprints on the floor. I just mopped this floor. Maybe that's what the wet floor signs are for, so people won't walk on your floor. Okay, done. Give me another bucket. I still got crisps. At least no body parts come out of this machine. Because that would suck. Body parts came out of that grinder machine.
There was a bullet casing, I saw it on the floor over here. There's another freaking footprint. That one looks like a streak of blood. There it is. And there's another one, and another bullet. I don't think this game you can actually win it. I think it creates more things as as you go through. I think it just adds little things like hidden bullets. It's the cheap code enabled. Get in there. I think he's drunk. Can't get it. Got it. Alright. Any more bullet casings? Any more crisps? Any more anythings? Oh. oh, look at all that stuff over there. There's more stuff. More stuff! this don't say that every time you say that you knock something over and it makes a big freaking mess so you just shut your filthy mouth that's what i'm saying there's a cat nobody likes a brag there's one of those usb Aha! Activate. What is, is that opens the door? Okay. Oh. No, I'm not done. I'm not done. Is that the machine I'm supposed to put those little things in? Where am I supposed to put this thing? Our research has been going well. Now I believe we can successfully isolate the plant life, care for themselves, market the little fellows. I don't need to drop it. Oh my goodness. Make it stand upright. Come on. What am I? I guess I'm supposed to. Am I supposed to scan this in the door? That crunchiness does not sound good in there. Like, what is so crunchy over here? Mission log. Contain the botanical outbreak. That's not my job. Secure his investment. Secure the area and locate what remains of Dr. Bumgardner. You know, Bum. Bumgardner. Am I not supposed to throw these out? Am I supposed to take these with me? I'm going to take this with me. This is proof. I'm going to put it in my janitor's closet. This is proof that something fishy is going on. I'll put it in these out first. Might not be able to get them out. Smith. Go! 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 
gadget USB drive. Then let Joe Smith go in the machine. Is this, is this in the way? Is that what's going on? Maybe Joe Smith doesn't actually work here. Well, he doesn't anymore, that's for sure, because he's dead. Right. There we go. So Joe Smith is in the machine. Put that in there. Oh, we need another bucket of water, don't we? No, why do you do that? I didn't ask for two buckets of water. Stupid machine. Right. Do this. I think we can pick this thing up. We pick the whole thing up. Yeah. There we go. Get a mop. Clean it off. There we go. Get up on there. Like so. Go up. Don't get stuck. Oh my goodness. Well. Look at that. And whatever. There's a body. I think we found Dr. Bumgardner. Chiefs woke me up early. Apparently received a contract from Rich Investor. Get out of here. Shoot. And I already cleaned up. This is going to leave a mess. This kind of pisses me off. This guy hit up here. Not cool. Like everything was going so well. And you left your intestines. Take them with you. Who is this guy? Doctor. Doctor Gaywood. I don't like you. Now I'm tracking, of course, I'm tracking freaking footprints. Wasn't actually supposed to bury these folks. That wouldn't be. That wouldn't be good. I mean, they're getting a cremation burial. I think they should be happy with that.
think we almost got this clean up here. Then there's the one other spot we've got to go clean up high. Make sure. Don't see anything else. Except these things. Freaking slobs. Like, who would normally look up there for your junk? Stupid drunken scientist. This is what happens. You get drunk and then you uh, make plant monsters. It's not cool. Are you serious? More? Am I going to have to go check each of those freaking windows? Most common janitors wouldn't even bother with all this. I mean, I can see this stuff up there. I'm gonna have to get the damn lift over here to get that. I might as well check the windows, because who knows? Jerks. I'm glad you're dead. I mean, I know it's a horrible thing to say, Fent Edickson, but uh, I, I'm actually glad that this monster ate you, because that is not cool throwing your empty beer cans up into the... It's not cool. Alright, somebody's got to clean that up. It was enough that I had to clean up your bodies, right? I mean, that was inconsiderate enough. But I did it, because that's my job. But I shouldn't have to clean up your trash that you threw up in the ceiling. What the hell is wrong with you people? Me new appreciation for, I don't know, scientists making plant monsters. What are we talking about? I, I don't know. Get the vaccine. That's all I know. Get the vaccine. If it turns you into a plant monster, what the hell? At least you try. Right? I think the whiskey's kicking in. I'm getting better at this game. All right, let's go. Spin around. Super fast. Clean up our mess. here but it might have. I wonder if all these things are supposed to be inside the squares. That, that would make sense wouldn't it? I mean the way it just slotted in like that. There it is. I bet it's supposed to be inside these squares. I bet that's bonus points. I should get all the bonus. Oh I'm glad I did that because look there's a packet of crisps and a bloody freaking footprint. Whose footprint is that? Could be mine. The world may never know. I sure as hell don't. Be the plant monster you wish to see in the universe. Alright. Ask not what the plant monster can do for you. Ask what you can do for the plant monster. Right? Right. At least the gingerbread man is happy. He's a little overly happy. He scares me. Blaze of glory. Look at that. I have burned 200 out of 2,000 things. There's not even 2,000 things to burn in here. Don't you start. Not going to fall for that. I don't, 
I just feel that maybe we're supposed to set those upright. That's a, that's a thing you're supposed to do, right? Make it look tidy. It's part of your job. I'm guessing. I don't actually know. I'm pretty sure it's we're not supposed to leave our buckets everywhere. So put those in the incinerator. What's this? USB. All the way down. I remember seeing another footprint. I think I... Huh. I remember seeing a green one over here. There is a red one. I also remember seeing a green one near the hose. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm imagining things. Don't knock that bucket over. Where'd you come from? I didn't think we'd ever get to this point, but we've got actually, oh, look at that, we want to, look, there's an intestine on the floor. You're not supposed to be there. I'm going to put you in this bucket. I don't want to drop you on the floor, because then you're going to make a mess. And there's cans that I threw from the roof. I am a mess, don't say it. There's another freaking, another freaking footprint. I was gonna say I'm a master janitor. I'm not. Look at that. I can't even get a can in a bucket. This isn't even the kind of bucket you're supposed to put garbage in. I would know that if I had finished janitor school. But I didn't finish janitor school because I got a good job offer working for this crazy company um so uh yeah I, i'm not i'm not i don't have my union card um that you get from janitorial school it was a certificate program oh you've got to stand on it don't make it go up when you're not standing on it that's just stupid it'll go up without you Go as high as you can go, and then stop right there. I wonder how high it can go. That would be something to find out. Now I just feel like I'm doing busy work, right? Like, I don't want to go home to my real job, which is, um, I don't know. I mean, barbering was my real job. Now it's game design. Uh, but what, like, what is my janitor persona? What's the janitor's real job? Uh, hello? Why is there blood on the top of our machine? Yeah. Well, I don't have to push it. I just push it once and it's just jammed. It's as high as it goes. I wanted to go all the way up to the roof. You've broken it. Look at that, you broke the machine, Dave. You and your clever, fancy college education. We don't need any of that crap here. What do you think you are, a NASA engineer? I don't think so. Your name is not Cliff or Phil or Steve. 
Pretty sure it wasn't Steve. Like, I feel like I... Where'd this come from? Uh, you're going in the incinerator. I don't know. That feels like I shouldn't be throwing those kind of things away. Are you serious? I can't even make these stand up. What's the point? Those are going back in my... Where'd you come from? You know what? You can go in the incinerator too for all I care. If you're not even going to stand up right, you're broken. Right, that one stands up right. Look at that. I forgot what I was doing. It's not George. George did not make horrible mutant plant monsters. We've been over this. I can put a bloody footprint in somewhere. Where's a bucket? That's a bucket of water. That will not do. Uh, we might have totally foobarred this. That's not good. You broke our lift. Crap. I had to whack it with something heavier. It's jammed. Alright. Almost there. We've almost got this. We're almost to the end. I'm guessing. I don't actually know, because I've never seen the end. I think we've got to put the box down. On the stairs. I can't put it on the stairs. It's going to fall over. That's against OSHA regulations. You don't put your lift boxy on the stairs, people. Come on, what's wrong with you? Lift up. Whatever. Are you sh- Well, I got a bucket now. Fired for stealing company property, right? Who's gonna know? Who is going to even know? I mean, it's not like, you know, your fancy data pad is gonna have a GPS thing in it that they can track it to my house. That would be just unethical or something, right? I guess maybe stealing from your boss is unethical too. Don't spill the water. I'm gonna have to go get another freaking bucket of water, aren't I? Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try this. Oh yeah, it's gotta go higher because... How do I get all the way up there? I guess I can reach it from right here. Shoot.
Yeah, there's not a lot of company loyalty to this company. Alright, that's it. I finished the thing of whiskey. So, uh, I'm glad this mission is almost over because I'm out of whiskey. What time is it? 10.30 freaking 1! North Korea launched two ballistic missiles. If this is what I did with the end of the world, at least I left it clean. tipped over that bucket. Alright, we don't open these doors at all, right? No, that looks pretty clean. Right, it looks clean up here. We're going to call it good and clean. Up here. I, I don't think it's my job to spack all the bullet holes. That's just not a thing that I was... I'm not trained to do that. Alright, we put this over here by the door. Alright, we're done going up and down in the air. But, uh, this is ours. We're taking this with us. In there. It's an important thing. If it wasn't ours before, well, that's just perks of the job. I don't know what happened to it, man. Your little radio thing? Never saw it. Not any bloody footprints anywhere. Let's make sure there's no bloody footprints left. Is that a bloody footprint? tell. Don't think so. I think that's a shadow. Let's just check around and make sure. Nothing there. Nothing there. Pick up all our buckets. Did. I'm not doing the windows. Oh, you have to fix the bullet holes, huh? Shit. Well, okay. Let's see. This is our tool, right? Oh, there's all those USB drives. It says we still got garbage. Look at that! It's on the wall. Ha ha! Alright, put back on the sniffer. Just these bullet holes? Just doing my fingers? Like it's clearly saying there is something over here. Right? It's going nuts! Right here! There's nothing there! It's the bullet holes. We've got to find a tool to patch the freaking bullet holes. Right around in 
looks like a gun. No? Oh, ah, there's blood all over that, though. Remember seeing that from up above. Does it like those bullet holes? Getting bullet holes. I don't think I can patch bullet holes. I mean, this is my tool that looks like a gun. in the incinerator. <laughs> um, I had a thing. I thought it was part of one of the bodies. <laughs> I think I put it in the incinerator. <laughs> it looked like a gas tank. Well. I didn't know. Let's see if I can get it out. Maybe it didn't burn up. That's a dead body. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. And you make me go searching through the flames of the dead bodies for a cock gun. C-A-U-L-C. Yeah, no, that's just the body. I might have put it in there. I mean, I'm being honest. I might have actually burned it. Oh, that, that doesn't make any sense. Because when I picked up the, um... When I picked up the broom, it put the broom in my my quick slot, right? So, does it make any sense that, um, because it should have just put the thing, the tool, in my quick slot when I picked it up? Unless I didn't switch to a tool, I just went ahead and... I don't see it. Because we got this, we got this. I don't have anything. I got a broom. call it done. I think I've just got to see what our score is. Because I don't I don't see any way to do the bullet holes. Well, there we go. I, I must have done it. I must have thrown it in there. That's uh that's not good. So that must be the only thing we still got bullet holes. What was the other setting? Look at all that blood! Crap!
damn it, I thought I was done. But no! If there's a freaking body up here. Ah, that gun? You have got to be kidding me. Damn it! Alright, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna do the whole thing the best I can freaking do. Because I am not a quitter, I am a bad janitor. It's like bad Santa, only not as um, R-rated. It's bad janitor. Goodness. Yep. Body part box. No. Are you freaking kidding me? Like this is, this place was spotless. Spotless. I'm so mad. I'm, I'm literally like pissed off. It was like job well done, psych. They said this cleanup should take an hour to an hour and a half. Three bloody freaking hours. Right, I'm not a quitter. I'm just incompetent. There we are. All right, it's coming down. It's jammed. I kind of want to take that up with me because, um... I've got body parts up there. And I know I've got body parts up there. So, can I put it on here with me? Yeah. And then go up. Don't fall. I mean, believe it or not, this actually, did his head just fall off? Is he not even going to fit in the bucket? This actually seems like this is a very good mission for Gablonia. You know, clean up the, the, the seven bodies the best you can. Um, I, I might actually make that a thing. Oh, just screw it. We're going to have to mop down there anyway. Throw it. get this box back down. That's the head. That always has to go in the box last. In case it has anything to say. Right. Mop. Are you freaking kidding me? I thought I cleaned my mop. Clearly, I did not clean the mop. In the whole thing. I wonder what would happen if I just said I was turned it in now. They'd be like, no, you missed the whole body. Good. You gave me another body. I was going to be pissed off.
Maybe don't mop the uh, body parts just yet. I want to. I want to use this laser gun. Bullet holes. Um. So. <laughs> right. Yeah, come back. <laughs> <It's a dead. laughs> I mean, it was in the window. Nobody would find it until it started to smell bad. How am I supposed to hit those? Got one. Not so sure this is the tool for this job. Like, I don't think that's actually fixing. Oh, look, it did. That one's gone. Like, I think it might actually be making it worse. Just saying. Because I already cleaned this spot. Like I know I did. And now I set it on fire. Here, can we burn the plants? I don't trust them. Maybe I gotta be really close. Oh, that was good. So you just got to aim it, man. <laughs> yeah. So you melt the... Got to melt the bullet holes back in. I've got to see, if this is melting concrete, would it set those bodies on fire and get rid of them? I know! Bullet holes. This is kind of like Ghostbusters. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to stream Ghostbusters tomorrow. That was that was on the schedule, but uh, I'm doing this stream tonight. I might skip Ghostbusters because I've got to write. On, um, what happened to my doesn't set that on fire, which is good. I guess we don't really want to set the nuclear waste on fire. You know, like that. Am I going to put it on YouTube? Uh, I wasn't actually planning on it. But I guess I am. Yeah, because that's a... I guess I should. 
I'm not a huge YouTube fan. Uh, I don't know if I did a good job or not. I mean, I'm going to call it well done. Shoot! Give me a new bucket. Get out of my way. That's a body part. Dang it! It's like you just can't get ahead in this game. You think you've got it and you discover another body part. Uh, not even just a part of a body. A whole freaking body. In the window. Yeah, I didn't even care. I set those all up nice. And then you just set fire to the freaking floor. Spill the water. Throw the bucket. But I'll give me a freaking body part, you stupid machine. Yeah, I gotta get rid of these. I don't wanna fall over them anymore. Open that up. Put it in there. Get in there. I mean, that's pretty well hidden, right? By those boxes. Is anyone really going to move them out of the way and look? I don't think so. I think we're good. I think we're safe. Maybe that's all I really needed to do. Was just cover up the blood. With boxes. I mean, they did put them everywhere. Now that I realise there's still a bullet hole on the wall, uh, maybe I should have finished zapping it. I don't, I don't want to. Yeah, well, okay, fine. Like, I don't really. I don't want to be a big famous streamer. This bullet hole is indestructible. Destructed. Uh, that one is leaking. Wait, wait, that's not good. That one's like leaking. We're going to get rid of that one. Okay, we're good over here. We get all the stuff. just need to bring that bucket with me because I think there's a lot of blood still over here oh and soot so yeah and body parts which one of these buckets is not full squishy sounding body part in the bucket body part Move out of the way, box. In the bucket. Shoot. How is it still even bleeding this much? Shouldn't be. Should not be bleeding this much. Are those bullet holes? Is that just part of being concrete? I 
I don't think those are... Okay, that's a bullet hole still. It's making the wall worse. Oh, yeah. Like the body parts up top, right? I'll just laser weld them in the bucket and see what it does. I might have to get the lift. I have to get another bucket of water. In you go. Close the door. I will. I'll try the laser welder on the body parts. I've got to take the laser welder over there. Jesus, I'll try it on this body part. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, it didn't work. Is it gone? It might be gone! And it gave me another body part. Uh, I did melt a hole in the floor. It was not, not there before. That is a laser welding hole. I think it burned it up. I think it did. And then I laser welded a hole. Okay, that's kind of cool. No, it was definitely not there before. Can I set one of these things on fire? Yeah, no. All right. I'm gonna get a clean bucket of water. I need that. There's still bullet hole holes. Like, I don't think those are bullet holes. I think that's just old concrete there. That's one, though. Get them all! Why is my mop dead? I didn't get them all.
good. Where'd my bucket of water go? What a new one. on the floor who was shooting this gun clearly they did not know what they were doing I mean why are you gonna shoot the floor what are you gonna do shoot the, the roots there's one right there too I'm pretty sure I got this I think it's ghosts ghosts are coming back and shooting bullet holes in the walls I've never played it. Well, now I've played this game. I've played this game for three freaking hours and 20 minutes. But uh, I'm doing the thing. I know. That's that's my friend. Right there. This is all Dave's fault. He sent me this game and said, you got to play it on your stream. So, yeah. All right. I almost, at this point, know what I'm doing. Where did that come from? I mean, this place, you tell her, this place looked a lot worse when I started. And then I made it a whole lot worse once I started. And now, now it's getting a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, you're cleaning up. It is an interesting concept. It's it's weird. But I, 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 I'm actually, I, I'm still playing it. Partially because I feel I have to, but partially because it's actually kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. Somebody sends me a game, I at least feel obligated. Uh, right, it looked really bad at the beginning, and about a quarter of the way through, it looked ten times worse. Because I didn't know what to bloody do. But we've got the hang of it now. Now, we feel like... Um, not not even semi-professional like maybe maybe little the janitor at this point you know moving on up right i was not actually meaning to do that and I feel that my mop is not as clean as it could be. Yeah, it's not. Maybe we should get rid of these dead body parts before we make a bigger mess with them. Oh, you were peeking in earlier. Cool. And now you're now you're chatting and hanging out. I so I really want to finish this mission that said it would take an hour and a half um but uh no it uh it didn't know how horrible i could be uh, at this sort of thing see look at that right there these pieces are dead and they're still jumping out of the freaking Alright. So, we actually have a Patreon game on um, Sunday. 
I hope everybody put it on their calendar. Uh, since there's two Patreon folks in the chat right now. Don't forget, there's a Patreon game on Sunday. Yay! All right. We're all gonna be there. We gotta finish this talisman adventure role-playing game thing. Uh, so I'm actually, I'm probably not gonna stream Ghostbusters tomorrow because I've streamed this so long today. I'm probably going to write and uh, fix the mistakes, the things that I know have to be fixed now that we have heard back. All right, who's leaving freaking intestines everywhere? Not cool. Not cool, guys. Uh, I could play this as a Patreon game. Oh, we can play it multiplayer. But everybody has to have a copy. I don't think I can play multiplayer just using... I wonder if you can use a VR headset with this game. I'm not playing it VR. I kind of feel like it's VR because my um, monitor is right up against my nose. Um, and it's a big wraparound monitor. So it's close. It's really kind of close to VR. Um... Was there a bullet hole that I didn't get? That, we do have to get up there and get that smudge in the ceiling. Before that, we got to get the... Uh, I think that's totally clean. I guess it is. What do you mean, jam? Go! It does. It does feel very VR. Uh-oh, it's going to shoot me up. Oh my freaking goodness. That's a lot of blood up there. I mean, a lot of blood. see this as VR. I've only played legitimately one VR game. I played it in Ohio Con. Uh, not last year, because there wasn't a last year. The last year that we had a year of conventions, I played a VR game that these folks were working on, a new VR thingy. And it was kind of cool. I'd never played a VR game before. It was about you know, just jumping. Something about no, you were grabbing with the with these power gloves. You were grabbing, it was like Spider-Man. And you were grabbing and pulling yourself forward and trying to to float through the rings. Um, and I was really quite horrible at it. Uh, surprise, surprise, right? But uh, I, I played it for a moment. And yeah, it was it was pretty mind-blowing, but because I have to wear glasses, it it didn't quite work for me um, it was it was cool I'm like this is neat but I didn't want to take the time to get acclimated to it I wanted to let other people do that stuff you know that had bought tickets and not well, it's supposed to be there doing their booth thing all right dance games and laser swords cool do you do them both at the same time? Is it like the Jedi dance battle? Because I would, I would get into that. A Jedi dance battle. Get out there. Let's see. But as to evaluate the ongoing operations, Potting soil. Yeah, well, don't have to worry about that anymore. Is there still blood up here?
I guess not. I guess we got this window pretty clean. Let's pull out that sniffer just to make sure. Okay, I think we're good. Run! Yeah, Beat Saber. Yeah, I've seen that. I haven't played it, but I've seen it. You know what? That one's leaking too. We should uh, we should maybe deal with that leaky. It wasn't leaking before I hit it with the laser gun. It's just started leaking since then. Get rid of that. Destroy the evidence. Right, because these over here aren't leaking. It's because I didn't shoot them with the laser gun. You give me a body part. Jesus freaking... Did I leave a door open? No. Do I have a bucket over here? I do. It's got water in it. But I can put a body part in it for sure. Did I just leave a footprint? Oh my goodness! Ah! Alright. Got that in there. Mop. Mop time. You know, for a period of time there, one of my favourite superheroes was the janitor. That wasn't his name. What was his name? Toxic Avenger? Now, I didn't realise that he was like an adult-themed superhero. I don't know that he was an adult-themed superhero, but the movie they made was certainly adult-themed. Um, and I didn't realise at the time I was just like oh it's Toxic Avenger I like him and I had I might still have Ishnu number one of his comic book I might not I might have gotten rid of it they did make a cartoon the cartoon was not a dog thing uh, as far as I can remember going out on the limb here to say it was not a dog themed it might have been Uh, yeah, I liked that guy. He was, he was a janitor. I don't, I don't think he would have, would have put up with this job, though. He would have taken one look and said, uh, I don't know what his catchphrase was. I, I mean, I really don't remember. Uh, probably. That sounds... That sounds right? But then lots of things sound right, so... Don't shoot me at this time. I just want to mop. I just want to do my mopping. And where I burn holes in the walls. something up there. What the heck? I don't care. I really don't. At this point. I don't care. There can be something up there. It's going to stay up there because it's not a body part. It's not a body part. I'm not worrying about. Get up here? Of clean water, even? I don't want to spill this bucket. Yeah, because I didn't do the roof yet. Now, why? I still haven't even figured out why they give us the freaking broom. 
because it didn't really do much of anything. I ran into last time. I got it on the... Don't care. Go up as high as you can go. Mop! Mop like the wind! Ah, uh, that was an OSHA violation. Right there. That was not how that was supposed to go. It. And there's still a bullet hole. I gotta... Can we see the bullet hole? I gotta go up to see. <gasps> Can we seriously go up while we're holding something? No. I don't know if I'm supposed to hit the hole or hit around it to melt the concrete around it. I don't know. Now we got it, however we did it. Shoot! It's another fire! I think that's one right there. Jammed. Get out of here. There's still a damn bullet hole. Thought we might have enough in our mop. As long as we don't have to change the bucket, right? Okay. Almost got it. Almost got it. Shoot, 
There's another one. Two more? Yeah, you'd have to do it multiplayer, like one person would have to be in charge of picking up the bodies and one person would have to be in charge of mopping and one person would have to be in charge of, I don't know, bullet holing. I don't think I can, can I just not get that one from here? Am I just making it worse? I mean, I kind of feel like I should leave some bullet holes as like a warning. Like, if you come in and you see the bullet holes, maybe you don't want to work here. Maybe you need to rethink your life's choices. Be good. Be good. I think, I think that was everything. If they're super it's observant, that's the that's the deal. If they're super observant, then they'll see it and they'll know, hey, something fishy's going on. Only it's not fish, it's plants. So they would be wrong. Hey, remember remember like over an hour ago when I thought we were done and I cleaned up by putting my radio in this box? Yeah, that was funny, wasn't it? See, I swear, random crap just gets... Finally got to see a merman. What, the, what are you talking about? Okay, the vaccine uh, is not supposed to cause psychosis. That's actually COVID can cause psychosis, evidently. Long, long haul COVID psychosis. I don't know what you're talking about, seeing a merman. Merman? Merman? I've got a merman. He's on the, my desk, right above me. I, you know what? I'm actually not going to check the windows. I'm not going to check the windows. I'm going to throw out this bucket. I'm going to call it done. Whether I have done 100% or not, uh, this looks way better than when I started. So, you know what? If they don't like it, they can kiss my butt. I don't know that I've seen Cabin in the woods. I don't know if that's a thing that I have seen. I'm not even going to turn on my little doohickey. I'm not even going to clean up my laser gun. I am going to clean up the laser gun because I kind of want to keep that. Like, if you don't pay me, I'm going to laser gun you in the face. So I'm not a violent person. But uh, i got a laser gun. Uh, shoot. Close enough. That's everything. I think I got it all. I really do. I think I got it. Alright. We can clock out now.
Okay. Make your choice to exit. I wish I could do more for my company. Give me some paperwork to fill out for extra marks. Proud of a performance. I don't care. I'm done here and the union's got my back. Boom. Proud of my performance. What? All right. Promoted. You left the work site feeling confident that everything was endured. Uh, a good job on your record is sure to end your favor. With you feel a sense of fear. Uh, oh, they're going to punish me. Comrades can go to hell. Lazy losers. Employee of the month. I got employee of the month. This is the office. Uh, my mob doesn't look like those mobs. Oh, this is the same. Uh, yeah, okay. What's this? What do you do there? Medical unit? I don't know. 95%! How come I only got a 95? Hey, they couldn't find any fault top to bottom. Not on the probationary list. Look, it brought my radio back with me. I'm happy about that. Toothbrushes. I never found a toothbrush. Dear employee, receive a promotion. Okay, great. Somebody else can clean that up. I got promoted. Yeah, what does this one say? Stuck in the airlock. Oh. They don't like me. My co-workers don't like me. Bullet hole, a drug hole. Ha! <laughs> Hiding drugs in the bullet holes in the wall. That's pretty cool. All right. I mean, it's not cool. You shouldn't do that. Okay. I consider this a job well done. I got a promotion. Uh, I've trashed the office, clearly. Um, what's in here? More, more of this. I mean, we're freaking slobs and we're janitors. Come on. Clean up your stuff. Turn on the pipes. Do the... Right? I'm not picking up after you all. I'm not your mom. All right. We're going to call that good. Exit. Exit the office. Yes. So, uh, yeah. I put in enough overtime, right? It was supposed to take me an hour and a half. It took me three hours and 45 minutes. I started streaming 15 minutes before I started. So, three hours and 30 minutes to do the game. Viscera clean up detail. I might go back and do the Santa Claus one. Not tonight. I am going to give this one um, three bloody footprints. So that's my rating. Three bloody footprints. Uh, thank you uh, Jack Murth for donating this game for me to play on my stream. I'll put it on YouTube because you asked for it. Thank you folks for watching. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers for supporting me, even when I do crazy things like this. Thank you to the followers and the subscribers and the commenters here on Twitch. Yeah, we should do the Santa Claus one for the holidays. I'll play and you can read from the book. Yeah, uh, so I don't know. Can I give this game back to you? Is that a thing that you can do? I can just say I'm done. Uh, here, he gave it to me. He can have it back. I don't know. Or, you know, I could just maybe add you... I can let you, there's a stream, a Steam library. Maybe I can open up my Steam library and you can play anything that's in it, right? As long as I'm not playing it. I think that's how that works. I don't know. But anyway, it's 11 freaking 30 at night. Uh, so I'm going to go to bed. This was Viscera Cleanup Detail Gaming with Goblins. I'm Gandersnitch the Goblin and I am freaking out of here. All right? I am. I'm out of here. Good night. Roll credits.